photo documentation of your paintings. This is a DIY, do-it-yourself, simple, nothing fancy way to document your artworks digitally, probably using your mobile device. And we'll use my painting here as an example, as a demonstration. It's called Hate My Dumb Life. It's oil paint on an abandoned painting. Uh, and it has an artist frame, a frame that I made myself. It's about three feet by four feet, size of a rug, made last year, 2019. And when I take images of my work, I like to incorporate something that could indicate a sense of scale. Sometimes they're household items from my junk drawer at home. In this case, it's an electrical outlet. Here is an example of what the image looked like prior to any kind of like post-production revisions. And you don't have to worry about post-production too much. We'll try to get a good, decent picture from the beginning. So when you're in front of your artwork, you're going to take a picture of it. You want to try to be eye level and be parallel to the work. If you're not, you might misrepresent your painting. In this case, you can see I'm a little bit above or below eye level. I'm at an angle. And so when I take a picture of, you, of, of this rectangle, it looks like a trapezoid instead. And that's sort of like a false depiction of what it actually is. If you zoom in too much, you sort of lose the objectness of the painting, right? Instead of a sort of physical attributes. There we go. This is a good, decent photo. You know, there is a little bit of a warmth to the white background on the right hand corner. And if you want, you can go into your phone, some of the software you might have on your mobile device and adjust to get as close as you can. And I could do a more elaborate demonstration using Photoshop in the future to help with this. But if you realize that your image seems to be a bit more, a bit too warm or a bit too cool, go into the editing software on your mobile device, your phone, and adjust that. As well, this is where you could handle some of the cropping. You know, I think generally try to have things spaced around evenly around the painting. Um, your device might have the ability to adjust how it's sort of skewed. So if it is a trapezoid, you might be able to pull that back to a rectangle. Again, we'll try to avoid post-production, but minimally you can adjust if you want. And I think that's about it. Oh, here we go. Quick review, right? So don't zoom in on your painting. Make sure we leave its object, objectness presentable. Try not to have it skewed. It should be parallel to the edges of the picture plane. And then thinking about the temperature of your work. Not too cool, not too warm, but try to have it neutral. That's it. Bye.